Story of Jeju Island Goddess Helming Are you amazed by the story of the old woman who created the world from feces and urine? On Jeju Island, a famous tourist island in the south of Korea, there is another story about Mrs. Sol Monday, the guardian goddess of Jeju Island, even more thrilling than that. The story is that Mrs. Sol Monday is a woman. Giants appeared on the Korean peninsula since ancient times. Like Mago, she urinated and flooded an entire area of land, creating a strait separating Jeju Island, Udo Island and the mainland today. After resolving her sadness, she cooked a pot of millet porridge. The pot of porridge gave her diarrhea, and the flow of her feces created 360 hills and mountains on Jeju Island, as well as valleys and rivers. That's why she is considered the goddess of Jeju Island. She keeps walking around the island in a naked state like that, making Jeju Islanders feel embarrassed. They offered to make her a very large dress so she could fit. She agreed, and promised that if they finished sewing, she would build them a bridge connecting Jeju Island to the mainland. But she was so big that the people could not scrape all the island's resources. So the bridge promised to be forever unfinished, leaving behind ruins on the Chochan coast. Mrs. Solmunde Halmeng's husband is Mr. Solmunde Halubang. One time two people took the test. The old man was skilled at fishing and caught a huge catch of fish. The old woman calmly sat down in the sea and spread her legs wide. Immediately the whole school of fish was sucked into her giant vagina. There are two anecdotes about the death of old lady Solmunde. One version says that the old woman was so confident about her giant body that she decided to test the depth of the Mulchongoli Sea, who feared that the sea was too deep, causing her to slip and drown. Another version says that she and her husband had 500 children. One day she cooked a huge pot of porridge for 500 children to eat. She probably didn't want her children to have diarrhea like she did in the past, so she decided to taste the porridge first. Accidentally, Mrs. Sol Monday slipped and fell into the pot of porridge and was cooked. The 500 children did not see their mother, so they just scooped up porridge to eat. When they discovered they had eaten their mother, they burst into tears and turned into 500 stone statues, which are still on the island today. Dot. Dot. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.